Well, oh, well, well, well. Nicholas Sturgeon uh, was arrested uh, and interrogated by the police. However, she was uh, released without charge. Uh, why was Nicholas Sturgeon arrested and what does it mean for Scottish independence? With support of the SNP falling since the former First Minister's swift political demise, another independence referendum looks further away than ever. Uh, Nicholas Sturgeon, Scotland's longest serving First Minister, resigned earlier this year in a move that confounded many political observers at the time. On Sunday, she was arrested by police investigating allegations of financial misconduct. Because one weird thing uh, about the SNP is whenever they get money, the money has like a nasty habit of going missing. Like money for the ferries, money for that hospital. Just it's just weird. It's almost like uh, politicians only want to get into politics to line their own pockets and then run off without uh, making making the country a better place like they're supposed to. It's really weird. It almost seems like that's the only function of the state at this point. Uh, <laughs> Sturgeon, who uh, led the Scottish National Party to electoral domination at Holyrood, the home of the Scottish Parliament, was questioned by detectives as a suspect but was later released without charge pending further inquiries after voluntarily going to, the po- do a, bleh, to a police station. There was a picture of her in the back of a police car but I don't know if that was photoshopped or not. Uh, but basically, uh, even though she has been released, she can still get charged. Uh, there is, she still can be charged with it. Uh, who is Nicola Sturgeon? Uh, Sturgeon was a rare political constant during a turbulent era in British politics. During her tenure as First Minister, the title given to the head of a devolved government in the UK, four UK Prime Ministers resigned, as did two main opposition leaders at Westminster. As one of the few female world leaders, Sturgeon became internationally recognised. In 2016, she was ranked the second most powerful woman in the UK after Queen Elizabeth II by Forbes. I mean, I don't think she is anymore if she can't stop a police investigation into herself. Uh, Her political demise has been swift. She was first elected as an SNP Member of Parliament in 1999 and was elected Deputy Leader in 2004 on a joint ticket with Alex Salmond, who became SNP Leader. Alex Salmond was her old mentor, you know, her her old master, and she completely stabbed him in the back because she felt threatened about him returning to politics. So her and her party concocted this massive Me Too thing uh, that turned out to be completely fake. They were basically trying to destroy Alex Salmon's career. Uh, and yeah, it turned out the whole thing was like fake and made up. So yeah, that was that was fun. Uh, and Salmon ended up getting awarded uh, a good chunk of money for everything that he went through. Uh, Sturgeon became the de facto leader of the opposition in the Scottish Parliament as Salmon was an, S- was an MP in Westminster, not an S- MSP in Holyrood, and was not able to take up the role. In 2007, Salmond was elected to Holyrood following that year's Scottish parliamentary elections, which were an electoral breakthrough for the SNP. He became the first minister with Sturgeon serving as deputy. In 2011, the SNP scored their best electoral achievement ever, winning an absolute majority in Holyrood, the only party ever to do so since devolution in 1999. And uh, Scotland has got worse and worse and worse ever since. Uh, Salmond and Sturgeon were re-elected into their respective roles. The party had committed in its manifesto to hold an independence referendum. David Cameron, then the Prime Minister of the UK, agreed a deal with the, with the Salmond administration in 2012 to hold an independence referendum. The vote was held in 2014 when 55% of Scots voted to stay in the Union. Salmon resigned as a result. Uh, Sturgeon announced her run to become SNP SNP leader without an opponent coming forward. She became the party's first female leader and thus first minister unopposed. Why was she arrested? Her arrest was shocking but not entirely unexpected. Uh, 50 days after her resignation, Peter Murrow, Sturgeon's husband and a former SNP chief executive who had resigned his position weeks earlier after claiming responsibility for giving false party membership numbers to the media, was arrested as part of Operation Branchform, a Police Scotland investigation into allegations that more than £600,000 in donations for an independence campaign was misspent by the party. They say misspent is it's like gone. <laughs> the money, the money was just gone, and uh, people are trying to find out where the hell it went. Uh, large forensic tents were erected outside the couple's home, which provoked a furious response from her allies. 
otherwise known as people who may possibly be in on it as well. They're politicians. Politicians just seek to make themselves richer. Why do you think government positions exist? Uh, Colin Beatty, an MSP and the SNP's treasurer, was arrested less than two weeks later as part of the investigation. He resigned as party treasurer the following day. Sturgeon is the third senior SNP figure to be arrested as part of the operation. What does it mean for Scottish independence? Polling on the question of Scottish independence has remained largely unchanged since Sturgeon's resignation, there has not been a major dip since Sturgeon's successor as SNP leader and First Minister Hamza Yusuf took over. In fact, an Ipsos at STV poll carried out in May found that 53% of Scots support independence. However, difficulties may lie in falling support for the SNP. I've got a feeling <clears throat> that if Scotland uh, has its uh, has another election, uh, the SNP are going to lose their majority because... That's the problem whenever you've got a cult of personality around a member of your party. You know, exact same thing happened in, happened in uh, UKIP. You know, Nigel Farage, you know, it was brilliant having him. Then as soon as he left, he took all the voters with him. Uh, and a lot of people didn't identify with the rest of the party. Uh, and I think the same thing is going to happen to Nicola Sturgeon. Uh, in the case with Nicola Sturgeon. Because uh, Hamza Yusuf, uh, a lot of people don't identify with him. Because he's an arsehole. Uh, the party's vote share was 26 percentage points ahead of the Conservatives in the 2021 Scottish Parliament elections. Recent polls put its lead over the Scottish Labour Party in single or low double digits. Apart from the Scottish Greens, no other major opposition parties support an independence referendum. If the SNP loses its dominance at Holyrood, the likelihood of another independence referendum greatly recedes. What could happen next? After Sturgeon's arrest on Sunday, her internal critics inside the SNP and opposition leaders have called on her to voluntarily stand down as an MSP or for Yusuf to suspend her pending the outcome of the police investigation. That's something I believe that Yusuf will not do because it would externally look like an admittance of, yeah, she was like robbing everybody the entire time. So uh, I think that's why they're not doing it. Uh, she has denied any wrongdoing, issuing a statement on Sunday night declaring, I know beyond doubt that I am in fact innocent of any wrongdoing. Yusuf has refused to take any disciplinary action against her because she's not been charged with any offence. He said he believes that people should be treated as innocent until shown to be guilty. Did you do that in my case, Humza? No, you fucking didn't. Uh, the police investigation continues. Uh, police Scotland has never disclosed exactly what it is investigating, nor released the name of the lead detective. Earlier this month, the force's chief constable, Sir Ian Livingston, said the search of Sturgeon's home was proportionate and justified. The police investigation, he said, had integrity and rigour. So basically, if it does come out like, oh, politicians are stealing money. Oh, oh, oh God, this, what brand new information. <laughs> and like, I mean, they're all thieves. They're all thieves. They live off taxation, which by definition is theft. Theft by force. Like, yeah, they are all thieves. However, in this case, it seems they did maybe a little bit too much thieving and they just pocketed the money themselves and that's what they're being investigated for. That's why... The SNP headquarters was raided, a bunch of homes were raided, a great big £120,000 motorhome was also seized and all that. Like, yeah, there's a lot of definitely, I mean, we're not surprised that the SNP are dodgy. They're the dominant political party in Scotland. Of course, they're fucking dodgy. And uh, things have just got worse and worse under their reign. Uh, however, uh, <laughs> I don't want to say anything because the police went, we're reminding everyone, the contempt of court, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just going to read what's in the article and I am going to wait with a bated breath <laughs> to see to see the outcome of this investigation. <laughs>